Hello there and welcome to another gaming vlog. Now you're probably wondering why I am sitting indoors wearing a jacket and a hoodie. Uh, the answer is my flat here in Frankfurt, Germany, is very cold and I don't have any heating so I have to do what I can to keep warm. But I'm going to be talking to you today about a game called Sleeping Dogs which I'm going to be playing on the good old Xbox 360. Now the best way to describe the game is uh, Grand Theft Auto but set in Hong Kong. You play as a character called uh, Wei and he is actually a police officer going undercover to infiltrate the Chinese Mafia. And what this means is uh, when you actually start playing you can play missions as a police officer so you do things like drug busts, stopping petty crimes and things like that and you can also do missions for the Mafia which involve sort of beating people up and killing and you know lots of cool stuff like that. The game is an open world sandbox type of game, uh, a lot like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the best thing about the game is that you don't actually have to progress with the game's story. Uh, it, it's, it's up to you what you do. Now for me, one of the best things in the game is actually the combat and the fighting system. It's a lot more advanced than, say, Grand Theft Auto. It's, uh, it's a lot more similar to, say, Batman Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. You've got lots of different attacks and you learn more as you progress through the game. You can unlock more fighting skills. So, for example, you can do a, an attack called the Leg Breaker, where when you're in a grapple with someone, you can kick their leg out from underneath them and stamp on their leg, which breaks their leg, uh, which is pretty cool to pull off. You can also do what is known in the game as environmental attacks, which are fantastic. Uh, Ranging from things like slamming someone's head into a car door to slamming their head into a, an aquarium full of fish. One of my favorites where you actually throw your, you impale your per, your, your enemy on a load of uh, swordfish heads, which, you know, looks awesome and is pretty gruesome. Graphically, the, the game is fantastic. The, the character models in particular are really, really well, well made and highly detailed and the, the environments as well are very, very nice to look at. You've got this sort of bustling Hong Kong market area in particular and uh, there's lots of sort of little shops you can go in and see. If you go there at night time, everything's obviously still there, but there's neon lights everywhere and the whole place looks totally different. So, you know, it's a very, very, very good looking game. Music in the game, I wasn't too fond of it, to be honest. It's sort of like Grand Theft Auto. You can, when you get in a vehicle, you can choose different radio stations and they've got a radio, you know, they've got music for every sort of taste. They've got your rock, your dance and your even classical music in there. Um, me being a fan of rock music and metal and stuff like that, I was a bit disappointed by the tracks that they had in there. Throughout the game you can progress the story and to do this you have to do different missions. I mentioned before that you can do police missions or mafia missions. For example, one mission you'll be driving someone around uh, which might escalate into like a shootout and that's something the game does really well are the shooting sequences when someone else is driving the car and you sort of have to poke your head out with a machine gun and shoot oncoming cars and enemies they're really really well done another one I, I remember well was you have to chase down an enemy and you have to take him alive so you can't shoot him or shoot out his car because it will crash and it will kill him so what you have to do is speed along this sort of motorway and get close to his car and jump into his passenger seat at the right time and overtake his car which you know is fantastic and it keeps the game varied you can literally spend hours exploring and finding secrets and stuff like that upgrading your character to learn new attacks it's a fantastic game the graphics are amazing the acting and the voice acting is is great the the cutscenes are actually interesting and there's so much to do it's it's a, a really really fun game if you're a fan of Grand Theft Auto, you'll immediately like this game. So all in all, I think I probably have to rate Sleeping Dogs. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I'd say it's an essential, essential addition to anyone's game collection.